minutes after seven o'clock thank you for tuning in this monday morning it is april 20th 2015 thank you for tuning into the source woca broadcasting live from the paddock mall just outside the woca commissary less affectionately known as the food court it is 66 degrees here good morning robin good morning larry how you doing good 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 how are you good got a good show this morning 7 35 we will be speaking to john r leanhouse known as lights leanhouse not so yep, sure lights. why lights. lights is his nickname lights. he goes by lights lights leanhouse because it sounds like Lighthouse. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he served in the Navy. He's the uh, president and CEO of Sun and Fun, and that's what he's coming out to talk about. The Sun and Fun International Fly-In and Expo is tomorrow through the 26th at the Lakeland Linder Regional Airport. Yep. And uh, so he'll be talking about it. If you want to know more right now, just go to their website, sunandfun.org. Uh-huh. And there is a hyphen between the three things, and it's the, the letter N as in Nancy. Yep. Sun and fun dot org. Huge, wonderful website. Forty first annual and it's really gonna be rocking. Eight thirty five this morning, that's when we turn off our opinion and all that. And uh, we just simply read the news in short form. We take twenty five minutes to do that each weekday morning. We call the segment News Bites and thank you for supporting it. It seems like it's a pretty popular one. Uh, Bern Pereso also is a very popular one and a beautiful lady. She'll be in the studio at uh, 9 to 5. She is our medical reporter and the president and CEO of Good For All Marketing. Yeah, entrepreneurial woman. She's fabulous. Dr. Bernard Weinstein is coming on at 9.20. He's an economist and he writes for the Wall Street Journal and other newspapers. He's written, um, he's going to talk about rather the uncertainties in natural gas and oil and gasoline prices the future market of these commodities and how price changes will impact residents of us right here in Florida. Residents of us, no, residents here in Florida. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, price Schwenk is coming on at 9.35. Um, Schwenk, right? He's yep. the founding Schwenk. director of Jacksonville Bank Corps. He's going to talk about the journey of enlightened leader, of an enlightened leader. Yep, it's a book he wrote. Book. It's a collection of thoughtful and affecting writing on happiness. Yes. Hmm. Uh, uh, Ma- <laughs> happiness. <laughs> Matt Gibbs will be here at, not, at 10.05. He, of course, is my mechanic. Your mechanic. Every, pretty much everybody here. Yep. I think everybody here is, uh, goes to Matt for his auto work. I went to uh, get an oil change just the other day. And uh, in addition to that, I think they checked my brakes and everything else. Not bad. Uh, Ron Walter at 10.35. He's a retired lieutenant. Co- Lieutenant Colonel from the U.S. Army. He's a businessman, an advocate of ecumenical Franciscan spirituality. Going to find out what that is. Yes. Uh, he's got no a book clue. called Theory of Everything. It is Franciscan Faith and Reason. 11.05, Jean-Pierre Dorliac is coming on. He's an acclaimed award-winning costume designer for the movies, for Broadway, for TV. Yeah. If you've watched any of those things, <laughs> you've seen his clothing that he has designed Uh, he's written a book (laughs) called the naked truth the irreverent chronicle of delirious escapades it's it's an authentic chronicle it says here the first spandex pantsuit he created was for leslie ann warren in the early 1970s and it just shot off on a fashion trend it was amazing and he's the guy and what is that what is that thing that's very popular at Target right now that, that the people are staying in line for? I have no clue. Do you know what I'm talking I, I, about? No, I I don't know what it is. Oh gosh, the designer <laughs> has the same last name as an award. What what's what's the name name an award? Uh, the Grammy, the Addy, <laughs> the Oscar, no. the Emmy. No, 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 no. It's like a higher level than entertainment. 
No, oh, Peace Nobel. For, um, for, yeah, for writing. Nobel Peace Prize. What's the writing? What are you for writing? Uh, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. See, I knew I should have printed it up. I said, this is never going to come up in the show. There's never, no way that this fashion <laughs> story is going to make it to our show, but it did. I have no clue what you're talking about, and I would love to find out. Oh my gosh! It's an award that writers can't. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so I can't remember. So, hold on, Jesus! I'm going to now take a detour here. Let me go. To, let me go online. Look Future it up. writers and illustrators. <laughs> no, no, no. I no. can't remember. I think I named them all except the one, and my mind is a blank. The one you, you know? didn't name. Yeah, uh, yeah. So let me just. Yeah. Hold on. Thank goodness for Target. I mean, for, I mean for, for Google. Target. <laughs> it's the Pulitzer. That's it, the Pulitzer. Lily Pulitzer launched her new uh, line of, of fabrics or something, and, and uh-huh. it apparently it's really huge. Well, that's cool. What Target. Does it, look like? it's a, it's a, it looks like flowers. It does. I don't understand how people go go bunkers over some, some things. <laughs> oh, you want to look at it? Yeah. All right. Let me let me click on it yeah, so you can see. Let me see, see because oh. I might have been wearing that in the seventies. Well, yes, you were. I think I have this on my <laughs> my bedspread. <laughs> This was a bedspread that I wore. Hold on, that's not it right there. That's no, just no. commercial. Hold on. No. All right, All right let me let me finish what we're doing. Uh, I'll tell you when it comes on here. Fun, fun with Joe today. Uh, today is uh, April 20th. It's National Weed Day, as in marijuana. I'll tell you the story yep. behind that, but I also want you to know. <laughs> what? National Weed I'll Day. I'll tell you about that. But it's also <laughs> National uh, Pineapple Upside Down Cake Day. Okay. National Pineapple <laughs> Upside Down Cake Day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so didn't f- bring any cakes today. So on Fun with Joe today, I have a, a game that takes the cake. Ooh, okay. I will describe the cake and tell you the country of origin, and you will tell me the name mm-hmm. of the cake. <laughs> it is not an easy quiz. Oh, okay. I'm hoping that you know it, but I don't know. Uh-huh. All right, so now here, okay, here's the Lily Pulitzer. It's, it's coming around there. She's showing mm-hmm. some clothing. Doesn't that look something like if, if, I think my mother wore something oh like that. Oh, my gosh, that was in the 70s. <laughs> I made my clothes. That was it's like the, the It's the Lily thing. Pulitzer <clears throat> clothing, Robin. Gosh. It's very popular. Tar- I don't know why Target. See, there's some more, more examples wow, right there. let's see. There's some sandals. Hold on, hold on. Now they're showing, and that's not it right there. No, but I wore that in the 70s. Well, everything there you comes go, there you around. Go, there, you go, there you go. There you go. Well, there they go. There you go. Some designs right there. Oh, those are the 60s, too. It's from the 60s <laughs> and the early 70s. Okay. All right, right, right. And then yeah. when, when Galen Yuno is on, I, I want to talk, need to wear that I again, talk about our uh, experience trying to get some video footage of ourselves, trying to promote the, the thing we do with the music. Yes. We went to Orlando trying to get some nice hotels in the background sh- shot. We got kicked off of some spaces. We yeah, had, we did. We we didn't park at the Grand. What do you, what do you call it? Rock hard. What's it called? Hard Rock. Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> because it's twenty two dollars to park there. <laughs> Over thirty minutes. Well, well if it's if, what if it's doesn't five, take thirty minutes? If it's five minutes to thirty nah, minutes, anyway. it's eight bucks. Anyway. And I mean, what can you do in thirty? We have minutes, such a busy you know? morning. Can I squeeze one thing in real quickly? <clears throat> oh yeah. Have you ever heard of a horse called Gornil? G O R N I L. No, I have not. Gornil is uh, a horse from here in Ocala. Oh okay. A, a, a long time ago, and, and Gornil won a race at Miami Tropical Park. And it was the first thoroughbred raised here in Florida to win a major race. Wow. Not just in Ocala, but in Florida. The first horse raised in Florida to win a major race. Uh, soon after that, um, a lot of thoroughbred operations began to show up in Florida, including right here in Ocala. Mm-hmm. Now, my question to you, and, I, and I'm not being Mr. Smarty Pants. I mean, I just stumbled upon this story. Uh-huh. But Gornell was raised on what farm? Any idea? A red oak. No, I'll it, just guess. no. He, but you're close in in proximity to where Red Oak is. is. No, he was raised. The horse was raised on Rosemere Farm. Oh, of course. Now, do you know I where Rosemere Farm that. was? It's not that there. Was any, by the Hilton, right? Close. Oh, okay. I'm close, but no cigar. Or, or it could be if if it was that big. That I mean, it, it might have. It was right <laughs> here. Oh, on the Paddock Mall. The Paddock right? Mall was Rosemere wow, Farm. The, cool. The, the Paddock Mall. And the College of Central Florida across the street was Rosemere Farm. Wow, neat. So this right here where we are. How cool. Is where the horse called Gornil was raised. Mm-hmm. Um, when, when I was a kid, I used to go to this mall on Long Island called Roosevelt Field. I don't even think we called it a mall, but it was. Uh-huh. Anyway, in our history books, there was a story of how uh, Charles Lindbergh took off 
from Roosevelt Field mm -hmm. to go on his flight across to Paris. Remember that whole big yes. thing? Okay. And I remember saying to somebody, he took off from the mall? <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, that's funny, Larry. That's funny. Larry. Well, well, I was actually on to something because there was nothing in the mall. Uh-huh. Nothing in Roosevelt Field that, that indicated that this is where Charles Lindbergh took off on his historic flight, his fir the first flight ever oh, wow. across the Atlantic. Gosh. Well, I didn't do anything to change that, but somebody did. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so now if you go to that mall, there is like a commemorative, like a plaque that says this is the spot where Charles Lindbergh took off from. Oh, how nice. Even though it's now a mall and it's probably outside Macy's, one of those stores. Mm -hmm. So we need something here in this mall. I mean, if the very first horse that got the whole horse industry started yeah. was here mm -hmm. <laughs> where the mall now sits, we need to get together with somebody and put okay. a plaque in here or something. We'll or, make some calls. So you've got these, these copper horses out here, but they don't necessarily represent Gornil. No, this horse and called, called Gornil. Yeah, we need something right out there by those copper horses. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just tossing it out there because I did nothing at all to change the the uh, Charles Lindbergh's thing. <laughs> we'll call I was the just mayor. A kid. He'll do. I it. was just a kid. Yeah, we need, we need to get it. We need, say, but here, look at this. You know how they say a pebble in the ocean? Yes. So that's what we are. We were the pebble in the ocean. Mm -hmm. So we're causing a little bit of a ripple. So we'll start this campaign. Okay, mm -hmm. you you can help me with this. Like oh, you can, sure. Like you can do your Facebook magic. Sure. Okay, so I'll hand this to you, and then you get this Facebook thing rolling. I'll hand it to you because I want to talk to Galen about it, too. Okay. All right. Yeah. But we'll get this ball rolling. This is a this is an athlete. I'm sure, I'm sure the people who raised him say nobody remembers Gornel. Probably not. I'm sure the people who raised him are still here, I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know when it was. Nope. It won't take much. But anyway, so there's a horse that once walked where we sit. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Called Gornel. We need wow. we need to remember Gornel. Gornel. And and the people who raised him, whoever that would have been. I guess that oh, would certainly. have been Oh, Carl Rose. Carl Rose was the guy who who developed Rosemere Farm. Yeah. During World War II. So that's how, that that's how far back that goes. So there you go. Gosh. There's your answer to when and who. Okay. Carl Rose, World War World War II, Rosemere Farm, Gornell. First yeah. horse to win a major race from Florida. We'll be right back. News Radio. I'm Steve Rappaport. Hundreds feared dead after a boat carrying migrant workers capsized off the coast of Libya. Only 28 survivors found so far. Survivors told the authorities some of their fellow migrants had rushed to attract the attention of a passing merchant ship and their boat flipped over. Sky News correspondent Enda Brady. Federal authorities arresting six people as part of a terrorism investigation.